Hey there, Facebook. It is Vanessa here again, your motivational speaker, trainer, and head coach from Live, Love, Give. And today's message is all about, you know, preserving your energy for the things that matter and ultimately to stop trying to convert the un convertible. And what I really mean about that, I'm, I'm really, this is a message, a massive message um, for all of my uh, fellow people pleasers out there. Um, particularly, I like to call myself a kind of recovering people pleaser. And uh, it's definitely where my life was constantly operating in trying to, uh, you know, get quantity over quality. And it was very subconscious, you know, we do these things and we're not intentionally trying to do them. But as we go on our path of self discovery and uh, self development, we ultimately learn about the patterns of behavior that we're engaging in, why we do what we do, who we really are. And that's how we can start to shift and change those unconscious patterns. But really today's message message is one um, about one of the greatest lessons that I've ever, ever, ever learned in my life and had the experience of. And ultimately, that is that it is your authenticity, you know, when you align with your true authentic self, it is absolutely your greatest filter for creating extraordinary quality of relationships and direction in your life. Because ultimately, when you uncover who it is that you really are, and you fully Fully step up and you align with that, then ultimately what happens is you automatically repel people who just aren't going to be happy to be around somebody who operates the way that you do. They're not, they don't resonate with your truth and they're not going to be, you know, they don't really like it. And you are going to attract the people who absolutely resonate with who you really are and the truth of who you are. And one of the major discoveries that I made is that we need to shift from quantity, trying to get everybody to like us and, and everybody to resonate with us, to actually quality and depth. And to know that, you know, when you stop trying to get everybody to like you, when you stop trying to be the chameleon, which is what I used to term myself, my past self, the chameleon who could shift and change colors depending on who I was interacting with, which I think in a lot of ways is actually a really great quality to have, but not in the way that I was using it at that time when I was unconscious of what my patterns were. And what I was finding was that I was, you know, creating all these relationships that were kind of pretty surface level um, without me knowing. And it was, you know, later down the timeline that I realized I was just yearning to have somebody love me for all of who I was, not just the parts that they liked or the parts that they resonated with or the parts that I was pretending to be and not pretending like I keep saying on a, for consciously, not trying to manipulate and be somebody that you're not consciously. It's just this pattern of wiring that us pe people pleasers tend to have, you know, that we, we just are so eager to get that love and that approval of those other people around us that, we shift a mold and we're so, uh, you know, me personally, I was so disengaged from my own perception of myself that I was so ingrained in the perceptions that other people were having of me that I lost myself completely because I was this whole different series of versions of myself and they were all leading to the same uh, result, which was feeling like I wasn't loved for who I was. And even if I did get the love approval or liked um, by those people who I was showing up and, and trying to be um, everything that they wanted, then ultimately it's a really empty place to be because you realize and recognize that you have ended up being loved for somebody who is not actually you. And all that really does is reinforce to yourself that you're not lovable for the truth of who you are. So the greatest thing that you can ever do for yourself is to stop trying to convert the unconvertible, stop trying to be somebody that you're not in order to get the love approval from somebody else and just show up as who you are. And if you've lost yourself, if you don't know really who you are, if you don't know who that person is, 
then I really, really encourage you to be on that journey. And I'm sure that if you're listening to a video like this, then you're already on that journey or you've already discovered a large part of um, who you are and you probably resonate with um, with my story. You know, you might have had elements of that play out in your life as well. Um, but what I really, 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 my purpose of today's message is to just remind you to stay true to yourself. It is ultimately, you know, when we're trying to be anybody else, it is such an energy energy drain. It's such an energy waste, um, you know, that you're and you're only going to get to a result that you're not going to be deeply happy with either. And anyway, so um, if you align with your truth and you operate from your truth, remember you will repel those who don't, who aren't in alignment with the truth of who you are. And, we don't need to be friends and, and uh, in relationship with everybody in the world, you know? Not everybody's going to love you or even like you, you know? So, okay, that's great. That saves you a lot of time. Repel them, you know? And when you step into that truth, and it takes no energy to be true to who you are uh, when you know who that is. And when you step more into that, you, you automatically attract people who totally resonate with the truth of who you are. And that's a beautiful place to be because you go from qu quantity of certain surface level relationships to quality and depth of like, you know, however many people that is, it might be a small handful of people, but I would much, much, much rather be loved for the truth of who I am than liked for me pretending to be somebody who I'm not by a whole lot more people, you know? So I hope that that absolutely resonates with you guys as well. Definitely wanna check in with you guys and see who's been able to join me. And if you're resonating with today's message, if you've got any questions or comments or feedback, I would love to hear from you. And um, definitely, if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? What are you doing? It is the new year. It's the perfect time to get surrounded by people who absolutely demand you to be the truth of who you are. And they expect nothing less and uh, and they definitely want to support, encourage, and challenge you to your next level of your potential whilst they do the same. So definitely click on the link above if that resonates with you and come and join us and go deeper in that group. And uh, I want to check in with you. So I've got Sam showing up every day. I love it. And Angela and Richie and Jeremy and David. And uh, thanks for the kind compliment there, Sam. And Sumit and Mark and Arthur and Alexandria and Mully and Jeff. Um, awesome, awesome, and Chris and James and Melissa and Frank and Alex and Alina and Rams here. I love it. And Sam, living authentically is fulfilling. Yes, in my opinion, it is the only true path towards fulfillment. You know, if you're not, if every day you're not being true to who you are, everything feels wrong. And when you are being true to who you are, you can take on the world, whatever challenge you are faced with. Because when you're not in alignment with the truth of who you are, you don't trust yourself because you're not being yourself. But when you identify who you really are and you step into that and you consistently be that, you absolutely develop such a core internal trust and belief within yourself that absolutely is the launching pad for you reaching ever increasing levels of your potential and a fulfilling, truthful, honest, genuine and authentic life. So I love that, Sam. Thanks for um, always your comments there. And Milan and Charlie, awesome. And Philippe, beautiful. Um, you have to be brutal, brutally honest with yourself and with the person you choose to share yourself. Yeah, when honesty shows up, every everything is more easy, but everyone should be conscious that a relationship is not about earning something, instead is about sharing out happiness, being ourself. Absolutely, sharing who I am and what I do and have. Absolutely, I love that, Philippe, and thanks so much for sharing your beautiful words of wisdom here. I'm a big believer in being brutally honest with who you are, no matter where you are, you know? And I think that that's kind of like, whoa, that's kind of like pretty out there for a lot of people. It's kind of challenging and scary. I don't think that we need to share completely vulnerable parts of ourselves that we definitely, if we haven't fully worked through them um, with everybody, like with the everybody in the whole wide world. Um, but I feel like for me personally, and you gotta work that out for you, for me personally, the more honest and authentic and genuine and out there I am, the more free I feel. It's like such a sense of freedom, um, particularly when, you know, 
you can just be fully authentic in your whole self and uh, you never, you know, people who are being people pleasers or, you know, they're, they're so worried about what other people think and they spend so much of their energy trying to manage how they're um, operating in the external world. You know, they're trying to manage uh, like, oh, how did I show up there or how did I show up there and what do those people know about me already and think about me and, and it's such an energy drain for our lives. So when you just step out and you just, you know, it's, I can kind of get myself in trouble sometimes because if somebody asks me a question, I'm going to be brutally honest. And um, for some people, uh, you know, it's too much, you know, but you know what? I don't care because of this whole conversation that we're having that ultimately the more you you are, the more you repel those people who don't really like who you are. Good. You know, they'll go and discover the people that they do love and adore. And um, and the more you attract the people who absolutely resonate with you. So um, that is absolute freedom to be operating from that place. And you are super appreciated, Philippe. Thank you so much. And uh, Savula and Vivek. Hello, the best fitness trainers. Um, not really sure what you mean there, but it's awesome to have you there, Vivek. And Tina's here and Gabrielle and Happy New Year to you, John, and uh, Lizzie and Mitchell and Stephen and Ram. Quality, always more important than quantity. Uh, yes, more so in relations uh, to have true meaningful life. Yes, absolutely. And that's, I think, you know, I know from me being a kid and a teenager moving into sort of adulthood, I guess, you know, I don't really think of myself as too much of an adult at times, but um, I've definitely shifted from, you know, the quantity to the quality and the depth. And I've actually gotten to a point right now where I know you guys have been following me for a long time. You actually know this, that unless we can go really deep and it's really authentic and it's brutally honest and it's, you know, just all of who we are, it's a waste of my time. It's a waste of your time. And, uh, and so that's kind of like, we've got to go deep, go deep or go home is kind of my motto um, when it comes to our relationships. So I love that, Ram. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, Gabrielle, thank you for giving us your all. Absolutely. And I'm so grateful that you resonate with my all, Gabrielle. Uh, you are such a beautiful woman. And uh, Philippe, you totally rock, look outstanding in excellence. Oh, thank you, Philippe. That's very, very kind of you. And uh, Mark and Mustafa and Sergio, happy new years to you. And Eduardo and Ram, life is truly beautiful when there is depth in few meaningful relations rather than width with too many superficial relations. Boom, absolutely. You know, those surface level superficial relationships they're just a waste of time. I find them to be just such a distraction from creating meaning and depth and fulfillment in our lives, you know? Um, so definitely, you know, that Jim Rohn quote that we all know, that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, you know, make them people who absolutely resonate with you. They want to go deep. They're growing. They're contributing. You know, they're not wasting their time in pretense, you know, of being somebody, you know, just for the sake of getting some surface level likability, you know. Um, so I definitely, definitely resonate with what you're saying there, Ram. And I always appreciate you sharing your words of wisdom here. And Shay's here. And uh, oh, thank you so much, Robert. Um, I appreciate you. And thanks for showing up. And Julie's here. And Vivek, you make my day beautiful as always. Oh, thank you so much, Vivek. And uh, much love to you, Maddie. And Jolene. And uh, much love to you as well, Milan. And uh, Gab Gabrielle. And uh, Sam, always feel touched by your truth and love. Oh, and I'm always touched that it touches you, Sam. So thank you so much for sharing. You guys always know how much I value and appreciate your feedback, um, positive or negative, you know, whatever is resonating with you or if stuff just isn't, you know, I, I value hearing from you because I rely on you guys to help me keep my finger on the button as to what is valuable to you. Um, but, you know, my strategy is very similar to what I'm sharing with you guys right now. I, I ultimately love to just share everything that's valuable and meaningful to me in the hope that it resonates with you guys. And, um, and when it does, you know, I'm, I'm attracting amazing like minds that I absolutely adore. And um, for any of you guys, like I said just before, you must come on over and join us in the Limitless Potential Inner Circle Facebook community because that is such a brilliant group of like-minded individuals who are absolutely growing and contributing. And 
and you guys who are in that group, you are always touching my heart with the beauty and the kindness and the generosity that you are constantly serving one another with. So thank you so much. I love it. And um, Nuna and Gianni and Mark, I'm loving that this resonated. And uh, thank you, Gianni. Um, that's touching my heart. And Judith and Madeline and... Uh, and Josie, and much love to you, Sam. So guys, that really is my message for you. Stop trying to convert the unconvertible. It's a waste of your energy. Show up, be all of who you are. Just recognize that you're gonna repel people. No, not everybody's gonna like you or love you or any of that. And at the end of the day, you want to have the greatest filter possible to repel the people who don't resonate or appreciate the truth of who you are and attract those who absolutely love adore and appreciate and cherish everything that you truly are and so the greatest filter is your authenticity so show up be you and if you're unclear about who you really are go on that journey and um, if um, if I can help and support you in that way that's a huge part of what I work with my clients with I'm gonna have some really exciting programs coming out for you guys um, very very shortly I've got one in particular that I am super super excited about because I can only work on the individual level with a handful of people and I go super, super deep. So it's, I, I only work at the moment, you know, I'm full up, you know, with my coaching clients. But, you know, that is something that I absolutely love and adore to do. But there's so many people that I really want to help and support and I want to build a greater community with. And so what I'm going to do, I've got this plan, I'm going to execute it. Um, so it's going to make it much, much easier for people of all walks of life to really dive in deep to the stuff that actually matters, discovering who you really are, what you really want, going for it and aligning with your truth. And so if that is of interest to you, then you're going to have to keep keep a tuning in um, because I am going to get on with that. And um, if you could give me some feedback as to whether that interests you so that it can give me some extra, extra motivation to get into this process a lot quicker. Um, so let me know if, um, if you would really thrive in a group coaching dynamic where I'd be getting with you guys. Um, we'd be in a group, we'd be on a Facebook, Book live like this we'd be going deep and uh, and definitely instead of just having these amazing conversations about stuff that really matters I'd be training you on the specific tools that I use with all of my clients and I use personally myself and I'm constantly like you guys know using myself as the guinea pig in all things self-development so that I can utilize them for me see what works what resonates so that I can simplify and systemize them and deliver them to you guys so that you can fast track your results. So if that is definitely something that would be interesting to you, drop me a comment. Just say, yes, I would be super interested. I'd love that. And I can't wait to um, dive into more of that with you um, coming up. And uh, before I just sign off here, I've got uh, Colton's here and uh, Gianni. Yes. And Kim from North Carolina. I love it. Or Carolina. I never know how to say that. Uh, Richard and uh, Sam, you'd love the training. Awesome. And Philippe, um, love to meet you. Oh, thanks for being here. And uh, Milan, I'm loving that it's resonating. And same with Gianni. Awesome. And uh, Ram, all the very best for your new action plan. Yes. Very interested. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, I'm loving that you'd be interested too, Kim. That's awesome. And John and Gianni, awesome. You guys are giving me that extra bit of motivation that I need to go really deep and uh, dive into those trainings for you. So I'm super excited. And um, I hope you guys are as well. Keep a lookout. It's going to be coming to you guys very, very shortly. And I am, as always, sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I hope it's brilliant. I hope it's amazing. I'm here in beautiful Melbourne. It's a little bit rainy and wet, um, but that's Melbourne. And um, I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Everybody who's just joining me now, Jessica and Mohammed, um, I hope you guys catch a recording and get a ton of value from today's message. I'm signing off. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you guys tomorrow.